coast. We do like to be beside the seaside with Noel. Sponsors Deal or No Deal. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal's Seaside Specials. to a big summer break for these people and so we've got these uh, seaside specials for all of this week yes you're quite right it's it's very windy out on the prom today but over here of course i have my ice cream cart do come this way because the ice creams are absolutely magnificent well they were magnificent for steph wasn't so good on Monday for Dot. She had an ice cream that was unpalatable because, you see, underneath these cones, we've either got sunshine or we've got rain. And if you find the rain, the banker gets a chance to look inside the box that's on the table. If you find the sunshine like Steph did yesterday, not only do you get a fabulous holiday for two, she's going to the Algarve, but also at five box you get the opportunity to get an offer after every single box that you open. So you need to find the right ice cream. My, sp my specials today are, oh, tutti frutti <laughs> and rum and raisin. <laughs> but the secret is to find the sunshine and not the rain. That way, my ice cream can get you a lot of lolly. <laughs> Here come the name. Oh, you will like to be beside the seaside. Irene! You look ridiculous. I know. <laughs> Honestly, how you can appear on national television looking that ridiculous? Nice to meet you, man. Yeah, take Thank a seat, you. Irene. Irene Harrison from Bootle in Merseyside, a retired bus driver. Yep. How long did you do the buses? Nearly 40 years. Yeah? Yeah. You met your husband through that. You were a clippy? Yeah, I was, yeah. I thought yeah. I'd tell you all about you. Yeah, it'd be nice. Go on, I'm listening. <laughs> you were a clippy to yeah, begin with. Yeah. And then sort of late 60s, I believe, then sort of uh, they moved away from having conductors and whatever. You That's could see nice. the writing on the wall. Yeah. And you decided to train as a bus driver. Yeah, I decided if I wouldn't have a job if I didn't drive, you know. Mm -hmm. And my husband encouraged me to do it as well. And um, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> Lovely. Right, and this is the first one of your personal pics. That was taken when I worked on the bus when I first went there. I, mean, I used to go out socialising for night time. I used to go to a club and I used to get up and give a song when I'd had a few beers. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember what you were singing there? Just 17. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. I love yeah. the expression of the bloke. Yeah. Is that an organ he's played? Uh, th yeah, yeah, that was an organ at the look, back there. Yeah. Look at the look on his yeah. face. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yes, yeah. They were good times then. We used to do that every weekend, yeah. That's Peter and I when we got married, yeah. <laughs> sure. That doesn't look like it was the happiest day of your oh, life. No. <laughs> Uh, no, he's a good fellow, Peter, yeah. He keeps me in tow, as they say. <laughs> oh, and then... And this is all my family. The yeah. team? Yeah, that's the team, yeah. That's Kaylee. That's Peter. That's Anne-Marie, my daughter. That's Karen, my daughter. That's Lewis, my grandson. Amy, my eldest granddaughter. Nicola, my granddaughter. Andrea, my eldest granddaughter. And Daniel, 
which is my grandson. Beautiful. And we've got Wayne here. I have Wayne, which is Andrea's husband, Wayne. Yeah, you can't choose those, can you? What's, well, he, what's I, he like? He's brilliant. Is yeah, he? I couldn't have chose a best one. Oh, all right, Wayne, yeah. you get a thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Yeah, he's a good fella. So is yeah. he here just a witness, or is he going to be supportive? Well, he's supportive, yeah. yeah. Good. yeah. Could be a very interesting game because Same. of that ice cream cart over there. Yeah, I, I need you, please, to confirm you chose box number four at random before the game began. I certainly did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is. I'm just wondering. Oh, it would be great. <laughs> Have you got a system based on the bus routes around Bootle? I never thought of that, no. All right, so you're yeah. just going to wing it and just see how it goes. I have a few special numbers I'm going to keep, right. if you don't mind, until the end, you know. It's your game. Say. You can do yeah. what you want. Irene, good luck. Thank you. Okay. Right. It's, uh, it's a 45 minute show. Okay. <laughs> Number three, settle, please. Starting with you, Cyril. Good luck, Irene. Thank you. Been great company in the evenings. Oh, 35,000. Okay. That's okay. Good luck, Ivy. Thank you. Millie, go on, number six, please. All right. You only like little blues. Shh. <laughs> Don't do anything Irene, big and red. Really gonna miss you, and I do hope this is a blue. Ah, oh, that's great. Thanks. Oh, well, they can't be here. You might do well to hide behind the lid. That is extraordinary. Three shows in a row, you had the 1p. Yeah. Then you had the 50p. Yeah. So in four games, nothing more than a quid. And then you go mad, you go to the other end. <laughs> you take over from Gale. Amazing. Still, onwards and upwards. Right, okay. Right, yeah, come on. Yeah, come on, let's... We come on, let's right get those... Come on. Jimbo, trim of that team, please. Jimbo, yeah. that's the squadron leader over oh. there. Best of luck, Aiden. All right, thank you. Yeah! Gary, please, number eight. Come on, Gary. Best of luck, Irene. Okay. Hope it's a blue for you. So do I. Yeah, thank you. Yeah! Yes. Okay. Well, you're not going to be a quarter millionaire, but... It's not bad to take three blues. Yeah, it's to be, it's I've to seen be. a lot worse. Hello! Yes, Millie does appear to have uh, come over to the dark side. <laughs> well, just in time. What? Millie? Oh. He said if you'd pulled out another little blue, he was thinking he was going to have to break into your hotel room tonight. 201. Two Sorry? 201? Two yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, hang on, I haven't finished the whole thing. He said, and then he was going to smother you with your pillow. <laughs> Still 201, she's Still up for that. <laughs> yeah. It's 201. I know you can be a bit short sighted at times. It's 201, not 200. Aaron's in 200. <laughs> oh, he says, oh, Irene, he says that photo of you singing. Nice pins, Irene. <laughs> oh, yeah. He describes it as very healthy and very respectable, and I cannot argue with him. He thinks you're a gambler. You give him good advice over there, gambling advice, and he does not want you to get to five bucks, not with these ice creams, 
So, he's saying six and a half thousand pounds is the value oh, of your bond. Oh, That's all right when you've lost 35,000 and a quarter of a million. A quarter of a million, yeah. I'm ready for the question. Six and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Tight, please. Right, and away we go. <laughs> okay, Georgina, number ten, please. All the best, Irene. Thank Lovely you. Meeting you. That's That's okay. Okay. Eileen, number five, please. Uh, from Irene to Eileen. Well, you're always very quick. I don't get a chance to say, how are you today? Uh, very much better, thank you. Oh, I didn't know there was anything wrong. <laughs> well, uh, I wasn't very well a while ago, but I feel better today. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Three. Okay. Three. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not stopping for you. <laughs> oh, you are going to stop. I'm just, I'm stopping you because it's a break. Okay. So we need this compelling argument. All right. And I want to know whether your argument is better than my argument as to why people should come back to your game. I right, come back as quick as possible, have a good cup of tea and have a short to go with it. My argument is come back and find out what happened to her when she went to Las Vegas. Whoa, yes. Ooh. I win the argument. Come back. <laughs> Sponsors Deal or No Deal. King.com, the home of great online games. Sponsors Deal or No Deal. I knew you'd be back. This is Irene. She used to be a Clippy and then used to be a bus driver. And two years ago, she went to Las Vegas. And she put $2 into one of the machines. And she was waiting for a result, and then she suddenly heard this siren going, and she thought, oh, my word, something's gone wrong. You're waiting for the police to come rushing in. Thought there was a big, big incident. And then she noticed on the screen that it was paying out for her. $1,500. $1,500. Not only a gambler, but a successful gambler. That's right, yeah, yeah. Well done. That's the message for the banker. That's you are right. a successful gambler. Yeah. But. But. What did you do with the money? Well, we stayed an extra few days and had a good time, yeah. But did you gamble it away? No. So certainly. you knew when to stop? I certainly did. That's the yeah. bit I yeah. wanted to get yeah. over. You're yeah. a gambler, but you are a sensible gambler, yeah. an adventurous gambler. One more to go. Okay. And you need to do a bit of damage top left. Right, okay. My mate Callum, 17, please. Hopefully a bit blue for you. Okay. Well, he's going to argue, you see, you've got three of your power five, but he's got four of his, and he's got the all-important smallest one. Hello. Oh, you're out of breath. What have you been doing? Oh, you just run down from the hotel. <laughs> oh, you just went to room 201. <laughs> <laughs> you've just spread rose petals all over Millie's bed. <clears throat> you do keep your options open. Apparently, he's also spread rose petals over Aaron's bed as well. <laughs> Hello, sailor, he says. <laughs> Lovely. I know, I did point out, upper left side does have no damage. Mm, see, I said it. And the result of me being right and him sticking to his guns is he's sticking to the offer. Six and a half thousand for a second time. That's very good. Yeah? yeah you happy with that? Yeah. 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 Worth six and a half. Six and a half thousand can go along. I can get a few trips to Vegas with that, couldn't I, as well? You could. Yeah. You could indeed. Certainly. Yeah. 
You want to go on a world cruise, it says here. I would love to go on a world cruise. I'd like to stop off at a lot of places. And you want to go somewhere warm? Yeah. Because your husband, uh, Pete's got arthritis. He has arthritis, Pete, yeah. And, uh, so we need to get you more than six and a half? Yeah, sure. You can ask me the question. Six and a half thousand pounds, Irene. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Spencer. Please, my mate Spencer. Spence, blue, please. Would you a penny, Irene? Okay. Best of luck. Hopefully. One. Okay. Yep. Francis, my mate. Number one, please. How are you enjoying life in the hotel? It's beautiful. I've enjoyed every minute of it. What are your personal circumstances, Francis? Uh, it's not too bad. Unfortunately, my uh, partner can't be with me because she's had a slip the disc. Oh, so how did she uh, get that, Francis? <laughs> <laughs> she did it just by trying to reach for uh, a shower head, I'm told, in a way. And, uh, it just went, you know. Reaching for a shower head. <laughs> oh, those games, Francis. <laughs> right, here we are. Okay. That's it, Blue. Oh. No, that is most certainly not what we wanted to see. 50,000. Sorry. Uh oh. Mmm. Mm. Come on, Alex. Come on. Okay. We'll go Jerry number two, please. All right, Jerry? Yep. Come on, we need something to balance that, and there's only one box in the game that can do that. It's the kissing box. <laughs> Let's hope he's in it. Some very big money there. Some very large money that can come into your life. Sure. Hello. Oh, yes. He says, this is a dangerous situation, Irene. A bit like reaching for a shower head when Francis is around. You can be taken by surprise. <laughs> Well, he's pointed out something that is very true. It's much easier in a round of three to take out the two big ones mm -hmm. than it is to take out all three large ones if they were there, you know, to mm -hmm. do a dot. And therefore, he's feeling this game is very much moving to him. However, he would like to purchase your box, and he thinks that it's got a very reasonable value in his estimation of £5,000. That's very nice of him. Yeah. Ooh, that's yes. okay, that, that's fair, you know. Yeah. Well, that's a respectable offer. I can understand the reason. I why. think so. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, people who follow the game thing. closely can, uh, yeah. can accept the fact that he feels at the moment it's advantage banker. Well, let's see if we can turn that around. Ask me the question, please. 5,000 no. pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Yeah. Tell you what would be a good idea. An all blue round that he's that top left. Yeah. Okay. That would really smack him one. Nikki, number 12, please. Irene, you've been fab, and I'm really going to miss you and Wayne. Yeah, Let's get you. the one P. No, no. Oh, okay. Now you've got two tiny blocks. Whoops. He's just, you've got to find that one P. Okay, Rod number nine, please. Okay, we're going with you, Rod. Come on, 1p, 10p, or 50p, but it's really... Daniel. 1p or 10p, yeah? Yep. You're a lovely lady. I really, really hope this is a penny for you. I really Thank do. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Oh. 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 Oh.
There we go. Oh, my word. Now, that is frightening. 75,000 stripped out, and we're not even at eight box yet. Come right. on, we'll have to get going. Come on. Come on. Stevie, number 20, please. Come on, Irene. All right, okay. Stevie, just one second. Um, 100,000 mm. is now controlling the game. Yeah. In terms of the mega money, 100,000 is all you've got left, yeah. and we haven't got to eight box yet. That's not to say that 10,000 and 15,000 aren't respectable sums of money, but you've had a really bad run of luck there. So, Stevie, it is absolutely vital that this is not the 100,000. This won't be. Come on, Irene. Hold it! Come oh. back after the break. <laughs> Sponsors Deal or No Deal. King.com, the home of great online games. Sponsors Deal or No Deal. That's a good point. That is a very, 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 very good point. You were so quick, but I tell you what. What's happened? No, the seal is still intact. That's if you nice. wanted to change your mind, I don't think that has been pulled off. No, I'll stick with... What Still going to stick yeah. with box yeah. 20. Yeah, please. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Here we go. Yeah! You're doing this the hard way. Well, well, we're not going to get you out of the little numbers at no. the moment. Yeah. Hello. It's an amazing board for you, isn't it? Oh, you've got a horrible mind. Oh. But he's got this vision that you're going to turn down this offer, and then the next three boxes will be the three reds, and then we go over to my ice cream cart, <laughs> and you <laughs> fail yeah. failed to find the sun, you find the rain, and he gets to look in a blue box... And he's going to drag it out and make it as painful as possible for all of us. And he said, you wouldn't want that. So, take £2,000. <laughs> oh, <Whoa>, feel free. <laughs> That's better. All right. I didn't know what right. was psychic. <laughs> Mate Stone is talking. Yeah. If you can hit the blues, which you've got to do now, I mean, you've still got the 100 grand in play there. If you can get through the, through the next round, leaving 100 grand in play... You can win yourself a holiday as well. You're right, Cyril. You're right. I Irene, I think you already know what you're going to do anyway. Yeah. But if you do have the bad round, yeah. you're going to have to prepare to go on with the blue. Yeah. You know what I mean? You've seen it, you've seen it happen before quite True. a few times. Yeah. Wayne's right. So just have a think. I'm ready. Ask me the question, please. Irene, two thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Right, I want the banker's vision to right. be impaired. I'm trying to take out numbers that really don't mean anything to me, so I'll go with fifteen. All right, yes, Des, please. Yes. you mean nothing to us, so could you make it... <laughs> no, you do. You could you make it a blue, me. please? Come on, we are Certainly desperate we for, the, for the blue That's round now. Oh, you're a lovely lady. I really want this to be the one P. Yeah! Adam, seven, please. Oh, Aaron... Oh, uh, this would be a peach of a round if oh, we can I, do 1p and 50p. I could get a kiss off you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Aaron. Oh. Come on, pucker up God, and give us what we want. <laughs> I hope it's a penny. Yeah. I want that kiss. I'll... Ready? Give us what we want and what Irene needs at this point. Oh! Oh, that 
is really tough. Not your fault, son. That's okay. Well, that's okay. Oh. Well, it's got to be now. It's, yeah. it's got to be one P. It's the only thing to get that balance back. Yvonne, 21, please. Welcome to the game, Yvonne. Hi. Oh, we need Irene. a blue. We need a blue, please. Good luck, Irene. I hope this is a blue for you. Thank you. Five bucks with just two reds in play. Hello. You've got a delicious thought now rather than a vision. Come on, what's your delicious thought? Mm. Well, if you can find the sun in my ice cream, you get a holiday courtesy of icelolly.com. And it's going to be a good holiday. Will be a good holiday. However, he has a totally different vision of what's going to happen. He says you're going to find the rain. He gets the opportunity to look inside box number four. He sees it's 1P. And he is really happy beside the seaside. Irene, we're at this point. My specials today are Tutti Frutti and Rum and Raisin. As you know, I'll pull a cone and hopefully he'll be wrong. Which ice cream would you like? Juicy Fruity, please. I hope this is a wise decision. Oh, oh dear. Rum and raisin would have given like you rum. the sunshine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jivers will take away your box for the banker to have a look inside. And you would have won an all-inclusive week for two in Spain. Not to be, well, did that number mean anything to you, by the way? No, not really. Not really? No. And the banker will get a chance to look inside. Yeah. Now, just because he learns how much you've got inside the box doesn't necessarily mean it's game over. Mm -hmm. But it really is important to consider the office and try and work out what he's seen. Okay. So, don't forget you are guaranteed the swap. Yeah. So, you are able to get rid of the box. And as you can see, it's absolutely tipping down outside. <laughs> or it certainly will be by the end of the week. <laughs> the banker's seal is on there. He has looked inside box number four. This could be one of the more important phone calls of your life. Hello. Your dream has come true. Oh, Irene. Oh, you're going away with a 1P. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Your face. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting what he said at the end. Yeah. You're going away with the 1P. Unless you take this offer. 2p. <laughs> Are you serious? Absolutely serious. So, by that, he's claiming that there's one p in your box. Okay. Irene. Yes. Come here. Sorry again. I have yes. enough from Dot's game that he, li he lies. Mm -hmm. He tells lies. Yeah. And I think this is a bluff. Yeah. I don't you? Yeah. You're not going to take 2p anyway, no, are you? Certainly not. So, no. it's a bluff. Yeah. He's very upset, Gail. He says he is a man of honour. She doesn't agree. Look, she's shaking her head. It's not a bluff, you're saying. He's claiming he is an honourable man, contrary to what Gail said. And so, and then he was saying it in that slightly sort of... Uh, 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 well, 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 look, I mean, so, so, uh, so she does appreciate that I, I am an honourable man. Um, I'll offer her more money. And uh, I'll offer her a thousand pounds so that she doesn't go away as a member of the 1P Club. That was uh, very 20, kind of 22nd member of the 1P Club. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take a grand? You did say you're a gambler, but you know when to stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the luck you've had today, do you want to go for it? Well, 
Ready for the question? I am indeed. One thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> My word, an all blue round now would be just about the best bit of timing we have seen this year. Yes. Yeah. Oh! Since you've had the courage to continue, he is saying something helpful. Do continue. Ah. Okay. And he's saying that the next offer will be a minimum of £4,000 if you find the 1p. Okay. Even if you find one of the reds, it's right. going to be a minimum of four thousand pounds. We've Thank got to find you. the penny. Thank you. These boxes, twenty-two, eighteen, and fourteen, are my girls' birthdays, and sixteen is my own. I put my girls before myself, so I take sixteen out. All right, Ella. Well, it's pretty, pretty clear what we want to see, and most certainly, very evident what we don't want to see. Thank you. Good luck, Harry. Oh, no. Now totally a one-box game. Okay. Right. Well. Oh, crumbs. It's to be or not to be, isn't it? Okay. Middle for diddle. 14, please. Zoe, maybe actually the banker did see when he looked in box number four, the 1P. It would be wonderful, absolutely bliss, if you revealed it now. Please, Zoe. Good luck, Kyrie. Thank, Thank you, Zoe. Oh. <laughs> Bang. That's it, Don. Okay. That's all right. That's not your fault. Okay. We'll go 18. Okay, Gail, Gail, with the luck that Irene's been having in this game, this is going to be 750 quid. But well, it... no, I might have swapped places with Millie, because Millie... You're the two oh, she had the... Yeah, wouldn't that be spooky yeah. after you had in three consecutive games the quarter of a million, yeah. mm. but at the same time you were having Definitely. the 1p, you've had the quarter of a million. If the yeah. 1p's gone back there, it's almost like a magic trick. Could be. Go on, then. Go! Oh. <laughs> a dot round. It was exactly. a dot round. A dot round, yeah. The second time this week yeah. that the heart of the game has been destroyed in three boxes. Listen, don't all look so sad. I've come here and I've enjoyed myself and what's to be, to be. Hello. Oh, he's just laughing and going, oh, she didn't even find the penny. <laughs> he says this offer shows his high regard for you. 24 pence. <laughs> You'd like to buy box number four for 24 pence. Ask me the question, no. 24 pence. Deal or no deal? No deal. Hello. You were lucky today. You certainly were. He said, you are on your way to become the 22nd member of the 1P Club. Now, the bit that made me smile was he said, just think about it. They'll, uh, they'll all be able to play deal or no deal on the barge. There's <laughs> two of them now. <laughs> and then it became quite threatening as he pointed out, Irene, whatever your decision now, you are going to join the 1P Club. That's what he's forecast. Irene, swap or no swap? Swap. Okay, well, he has predicted you're going to join the 1P club. So in that case, there's not 1P here. It's over there. It's over there. <laughs> so, Jasmine, I am bringing 50p to you. And you are handing to me one penny. Let's find out if you are, as he predicted, the 22nd member of the 1P club. So, despite what Gail said when she assassinated the banker's character, he was actually telling the truth. 
Would you pull the bank and seal, please, Jasmine? He did indeed <laughs> see the 1p, and that gave him such incredible confidence. Irene, a big compliment to you. The way you've taken such a heartbreaking game is magnificent. You must, you must feel ghastly. Yeah, I do, but, you know, I've met a lot of wonderful people, including yourself as well, you know. And, well, I've got a good life anyway, so I've got a good husband, I've got a good family around me, and... I couldn't ask for anything more. A few Bob would have been okay, but that's all. Well said. It's been a real pleasure to meet you. Irene, 50p. Very unusual. Very, very unusual to go away with just 50 pence. But what am I saying? Got on Monday, went away with a pound. It was yesterday that Steph managed 35,000. So actually, we're alternating this week. I like that thought. Join us for Thursday's game, when hopefully we'll be back on top. See you by the seaside. No ice creams next, but there is cash to win in Wogan's Perfect Recall.